What is going on, guys? And welcome back to the Star Wars Exchange YouTube channel. Um, Obi Wan finale just dropped. Mike and I literally just watched it. We haven't even talked about our thoughts yet. This is, I don't even know if he, he liked it or not, guys. He could have hated it for all I know. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. Uh, let's just get straight into it. What were your thoughts on that Obi Wan finale? Um, well, first, I haven't even uh, really liked the series all that much. I thought I think it's been subpar to I didn't even have that all that much expectation for it. I was just expecting, you know, what they've told us about, you know, Obi Wan's uh, trying to find his uh, balance after all that's happened after Revenge of the Sith and trying to find his path. So I haven't had really much expectation. So I went to this finale um with little to no excitement the last episode i thought was okay i thought everyone you know blew up about it but i thought i was like okay that was good something that i probably watched like maybe twice or three times in my life and that's it just it didn't it didn't hit all the strings for me or nor are all the episodes i feel like i won't even rewatch the series for a very long time so with this finale like i said had little to no excitement however um came in there and first half was okay i thought the first half was like all right let's get on with the program i think uh i thought it was very slow i agree however however um i just didn't i i don't know if ari saw me because we watched it on facetime <laughs> um uh i don't know if he saw me but at one point i just started crying of tears oh uh, i did it, my eyes were glued to the screen <laughs> my eyes i just started crying and um i had to like you know, get my shirt, wipe my tears out. And it wasn't even the Vader and, and Obi-Wan fight. Like, that did hit me, but not as the Obi-Wan and Leia goodbye. Oh, that hit me so hard. Dude, I was going to say, literally same. Like, yeah, oh. when when he says, uh, will I, when she says, will I ever see you again? I was like, man, man you had to me. do that to us. Yeah, I know, literally, and it great. hit me yeah. so hard. And I was like, oh, yeah. and for personal reasons too, but I was like, damn, that was, that was yeah. really good. And I thought the... Um, you know, obviously we got Qui Gon up in there, and I was like, "Yes, yeah. thank you, thank you." Uh, finally, I thought it was long yeah. overdue, uh, but uh, kind of wish he played more of a presence in the series. But it looks like they might be, you know, opening the door for another, you know, uh, story. So, um, which we'll we can talk about later. But, anyways, Ari, what are your overall thoughts? How's your reaction? And uh, did you like it? Yeah. Well, first of all, I did like it a lot, and uh, now that this whole series has wrapped up, I. Like, yeah, I have a lot of gripes with it, but I've tried to change my, like, Star Wars perspective to be less, like, critical overall, even though sometimes, you know, I, I can't help it and a lot of people just, you can't help it, you just are critical. It's because you care. But um, anyway, this finale, did really enjoy it. It's, it's just the same as the series. So I had a lot of things that I was just gripey about, but positive stuff. First of all, I never noticed, like, the production quality, I think, People are always banging on about it, but I we'll talk about this on the podcast later, but I think I just got used to the crappy production quality of Book of Boba. So for this series, never noticed. Thought it was actually relatively good in this finale. Um, and then, yeah, overall, just I thought the fan service stuff like in this whole series has been a bit irky, but in this episode, it could have been so bad, but I actually really enjoyed it. And I don't know if what the general consensus is going to be. Like I thought the hello there was fantastic. Like, they didn't need to do it at all, but I just thought it was, if they were going to, that was a great circumstance. Obi-Wan's like stance, Ian McDermott, Liam Neeson, uh, will I ever see you again? As we were just talking about all that sort of stuff, I thought was just fantastic, just flawless. Like honestly couldn't have done it better in my opinion. Um, Baru calling out Owen at the start of the episode, I thought was awesome. Like, well, I wonder whose fault that is. Like, cause we never really see Baru like, you know we, her opinion on all that stuff so it was nice to finally get her involved absolutely love Hadja. i thought that was a fantastic arc that that character had and it didn't like take over the story like another character's arc did um but vader calling obi-wan master i thought that was like a good enough uh explanation for like last time we met you were once the master or whatever i was but the learner um that was like a good enough explanation Obi-Wan being all happy and laughing with Leia at the end was fantastic. I completely agree with what you were saying. Um, even hugging Bale thought was just brought a little tear to my eye. Um, and then obviously Obi-Wan telling Leia about her parents. Great yeah. stuff. Um, Obi-Wan back in in costume at the end and looking like how he does in the comics. The yes. comics are finally getting some love, yep. which is just incredible because they never do. So uh, just, oh, that was fantastic. Um, and then the, just the final shot was was incredible. And the music... In the last five minutes was fantastic. I have a lot yes. to say about how the music was done in this series, but in the last five minutes was perfect. 
that's everything good I have to say about the episode. There's sort of some gripes I have, but Mike, what do you have anything else you want to add about like things you loved or things you didn't love? Um, oh man, I I just have to say, um, the I love all the Alderaan stuff. Like I thought the Alderaan yeah. stuff was prime was like the show in its prime. If in my opinion, like yeah, I thought I like agree. in the first episode when we get all the shots to Alderaan, the dialogue, the imagery, the acting, the production mm-hmm. value, mm-hmm. and the acting from Jimmy Smith. And, I was just going to say, actress, yeah. He, the he just from, like was from, so good. Yeah. I'm just, every yeah. time Jimmy Smith comes to screen, I'm just floored. I'm just, oh, yeah. my, he is just, he is literally the charm of the series. Put in him in opinion. Andor. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm glad we're getting him in Andor. And even the actress for uh, Brea Organa, I thought she's mm-hmm. wonderful. Like, mm-hmm. you go back to that first episode, and I thought she was the strong aspect of it. And even here, again, she, and seeing leia with the holster and also the obi-wan boots i was like oh my god like it was just i was ready to start balling at that moment so uh yeah i thought all that stuff was great again the the i thought you know was it people are asking was it the rematch of the century no it was definitely not it was not the rematch of the century it happened on some random rock planet like i thought it might have been edu for a second i was like nope they're sad it's not edu from row one but yeah, yeah i didn't think they needed to go to mustafa or anything i, I no. kind of would have cringed if they did do that but it was a very strange location to like uh pick because i was like where even are we like not that there needed to be like some history behind it but i was like this is just a strange choice to be out in an open field i it, it didn't have to be mustafa it would I, I honestly would have not cringe i might have been like Okay, that's the safe choice, but I think it yeah. should have been something of more uh, sentimental value to one of sure. them, yeah, and not yeah. even tattooing, but something you know, something else. I mean, I'm sure yeah. they could have came up with a reason, or even set up a planet during the whole episode. Like if they went back to the original place, I would have been kind of upset, but it would have made sense um, for for both characters um, where they originally fought. Yeah. Um, another thing uh, that I wasn't so keen on, yeah, the music. I was like, oh come on, like we yeah. finally got the Imperial March. We finally got True. um the Princess Organa theme, uh, mm, so or the Princess Leia so theme, which yeah. I thought was good. But it's like, and I'm glad you she saved them or they saved them for. Um, when I say she, I'm talking about the composer uh, Natalie. Natalie Hall. Hall. Yeah, but yeah. I, I'm you know for those moments, those epic moments, because I feel like that's what Rebels did a lot of the time. They saved the more like like the Force theme, the Imperial March. Like say, they saved them for m- more climatic moments and stuff. Like Darth Vader's theme, you didn't really get that until who. Oh man, until those important moments. So yeah, I thought that's what they did here, but it took way too long. It took yeah, way yeah. too long to get to them. So that was um that wasn't really for I wasn't really for that. But uh yeah, yeah. Liam Neeson was great. Um uh, like I said, this is a this is a new chapter I think that we're gonna enter here. But um yeah, that's all the that's really all the overall stuff I have to say. Um, like yeah. I said, uh oh my god. Oh yeah, actually I want to say this real quick. Opening mm-hmm. sequence. Oh, I <sighs> Could have been really cool. I mean, you have Vader pursuing Obi Wan in yeah. a new series in 2022, and I was just like, why doesn't this look up to par as to maybe even like, even I mean, go back to Book of Boba Fett. Sure, some of the things on on location didn't look as great, or on you know the yeah. when they used the 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 technology. What do you call it? The um the volume the volume. The volume. <laughs> it is but very when, early. You had, when you had Mando. <laughs> Flying it in space with his Naboo starfighter through the through the star cruiser, the Starliner, that was amazing. Like it took me yeah. back to to the Phantom Menace, but done in a better, like more like updated production value way. Where I was like, "Wow, this looks phenomenal!" And you had a star destroyer chasing Obi Wan's little craft or whatever craft they were on, and it just looked so fake. It looked like I I joked with my uh, Instagram friends that it looked like. Uh, a cutscene from Vader Immortal, like it just looks so like it just looks like a VR game. It just looks so bad. Yeah. But um, other than that, like I said, second half of the of the episode, I absolutely loved. Uh, first half wasn't so like keen on, but like I said, once yeah. you start fighting, it just like it was downhill from there. And yeah, those are my <laughs> just my overall thoughts. Just just a little yeah. bit of them, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, I like I laid out everything I loved about the episode. <clears throat> there was like, probably just as much as that I didn't really like. First of all, Reva, that whole storyline mm-hmm. in this episode just felt so unnecessary. And I understand that it was like trying to wrap up her arc, but this show is not about Reva. Okay. I I don't watch this show for Reva. I don't really care about that character. Like. I thought it's been a solid, she's been a solid character, but I just, it just felt so unnecessary. And like it, it took 
you know, there was the rematch of the century going on. And then it just like, Reva was just there, like doing something that I, I don't know why she didn't just die at the end of part five. Like that just would have made things so much easier. The whole arc felt unnecessary. And I just don't like the idea of her out in the galaxy knowing about Luke. Like, I just, uh, like, obviously, she, like, I guess we can trust her because we know she didn't do anything. But it's like, I just, that feels, just makes me feel uneasy that that was the case. So I didn't, I really didn't love that part. I do, I did like the arc, but I was like, this is the wrong place for it. It doesn't really belong in this show, I feel like. Like, I like the redemption. I like that they actually kept a character alive who got redeemed. So I don't know. Overall, though, I just feel like it didn't, it wasn't needed in the show. Also, I don't know how I feel about reusing the rebels idea of cutting the, the helmet off. Like I thought it was executed fantastically and Hayden Christensen was awesome. However, I just, uh, reusing that sort of trope, I wasn't sure about it. However, I'll probably get over that because that was such an amazing sequence. Um, Mike said, it, yeah, I thought the first 15 minutes could have been about five minutes. And yeah, I mean, I did just say I didn't mind the production quality, but now thinking about that, it probably could have looked better. Um, Vader just like leaving Obi Wan in the buried rocks. I was like, when yeah. has that ever killed someone? Like right. this show just like lacked a lot of logic at times, which kind of annoyed me. Like Reva cutting the door down last episode after they were shooting at it for like twenty minutes. But even that's, even that's Obi Wan, a... I was I meant to say this a bit ago. Yeah. How come? So yeah, that moment where Vader just walks away, leaves Obi Wan buried. But not only that, how was the Star Destroyers in in orbit? How was Obi Wan's little craft? What he was he what well, he could have like easily flown to hyperspace? Or I mean, it was kind of like a distract. He was a distraction while they were trying to get the, the the transport the civilians all together. Like while they got their stuff fixed. But like, how was Obi Wan able to escape the planet when there was a there's a Star Destroyer out there with the Grand Inquisitor and you yeah. know they have their Tie Fighters and and other ships Warcraft to pursue him. But he was just able to like slip through and escape. Like, yeah, I don't. I know. think I Vader just... just like wanted that time. But yeah, I, 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 no, I get what you're saying. But um, even like, why I didn't understand Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen's logic. Like, why would they not try to run? Why would they stay in the one place that the Inquisitor knows that they'll be? Yeah, exactly. And, like, why would they leave Luke by himself? Like, that's just a recipe for disaster. Anyways, the logic stuff is annoying, but you're gonna have to get past it, I guess. But um oh yeah mike said it the music they just oh natalie holt i really wanted her to do a good job but i feel like she didn't the only good part about the original score was the obi-wan theme and she was even responsible for that but the last five minutes were fantastic but why were there no like original motifs in the in the rematch of the century like right didn't uh didn't like that and the actual fight i thought was pretty good like choreography wise yeah. Um, the setting was peculiar, but you know, that is what it is. Um, but I didn't, I don't know why they didn't talk before the fight. Like Obi-Wan must have like a million questions for yes. him and potentially vice versa. Yes. I don't know why that had to wait. It was like, they just were straight into, it. I was like, you guys aren't going to like talk or anything. And, um, I still think they could have just smoothed out some of the inconsistencies that, that, sh that the show puts forward in general, just with like a new hope and stuff. Um, it was like, it was good enough, but I was like, oh, I feel like you could have done better anyways. And. I wish they they made it feel more conclusive. Like we're not getting a season two because I don't want a season two. I thought this they just tell this story and then this is it. But I feel like they did leave the door a bit open, anyways. But overall, for me, a lot I I really really truly did like, and a lot that I'm just uh, gripes that may go away or maybe they'll stick with me. I'll see. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's our reaction. Make sure you tune in tonight at eight PM Central if you're watching this video during the day. Uh, Mike and I will be doing a live podcast on Kenobi with our good friend, Artur Parks. So keen for that. Uh, Mike, any last words? Um, we're doing at 8 p.m. Eastern time, 7 Eastern p.m. Time. Central. Yeah. I don't know what I said, but <laughs> yeah, that's, yes. that's correct. That's correct. All right. So join us. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll, we laid out all the pretty much all the like not even important pieces yet because we to dive into like a lot of discussion points but we just laid out the, the pretty much the discussion points and we'll dig in yeah. in depth later so tune in definitely sounds good we'll see you all then subscribe to the channel may the force be with you see you later